Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at Dreamweaver and working with PHP within Dreamweaver. So here, what we've discovered is that in Dreamweaver uh, CC version 2015, at least, and probably even a couple versions before that, Dreamweaver decided to get rid of extensions, which is needed to uh, not to write the PHP code, but to actually get it to work properly and get it to talk to the databases properly. So what we have to do is if you go to window, there's extensions and right now it says there's no extensions available. But if I go into find extensions on exchange, it will open up the browser and take me to the creative cloud and Adobe's website. And from there, I can go into um, all the different extensions and get the database extensions. So this is kind of what it looks like when it pops up. Um, and if I go to my exchange, these are um, the ones that I have. Now I've installed the server um, behaviors and databases at least once before. So um, it's telling me that I can reinstall this um, just by clicking this button here, but you guys won't see that. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, go to, uh, uh, I believe it's Creative Cloud. And we want to um, scroll down a little bit and we want to go to the where it says view by product on the left hand side, we want to go to uh, the Dreamweaver one. And now all of these are different packs that you can download for Dreamweaver. However, most of them do cost money. So what we're going to do is we're going to where it says sort by, we're going to click on the down arrow and we're going to switch to price from low to high. What that'll do is that'll give us all of the free ones up in the front. And if you want to download some of these other um, data or some of these other packs, um, you can. You can see what they do. There's little um, bits of information about what they are. But we're going to go to, um, I believe it's on page two. So I'm going to scroll all the way down, click on page two. And what I'm looking for is the database. There it is server behaviors and database. So I'm going to click on that. And then it takes me to a page which kind of explains things. Um, it, making, it wants to make sure that we have uh, file syncing turned on. And if you have the most updated version of Creative Cloud, then your uh, syncing is automatically turned on for you. But if you want to double check that, you can go into the Creative Cloud um, and then it's in, if you click on these three dots and go into um, Preferences and then you got to click on this Creative Cloud link and then click on Files and it shows you syncing on or off. You either check the box or you don't check the box and like I said by default that box is checked. So you can just go through the steps to double check, but most likely yours is already. So then all you have to do is click on the, this install button and it will install it. Install. You can go to view my exchange and now it says uninstall instead of install. But I still need to do one more step, which is to go to uh, Adobe Creative Cloud and I need to go scroll down to my Dreamweaver and I need to update it. Once that's done, uh, you need to, um, best thing to do is to log out of or just close Dreamweaver and restart. And if you still don't see the database files, then you need to um, restart your computer. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here and then um, I'll show you what it looks like when we actually have it finished.